Hey guys, hello and welcome back to my channel and in today's video, we are going to decode what is Cambridge Secondary Checkpoint Examination. So if you are an IGCSC or a Cambridge student to be more precise, you must have come across the knowledge about this particular examination which you appear after your 8th grade. Now I get a lot of messages from my existing parents, a pool of around 10,000 parents on my Instagram and LinkedIn handle asking me details about this particular examination which has led me now to make this video wherein I am going to share everything with regards to Cambridge Secondary Checkpoint Examination right from what is the examination who needs to appear for this examination? Is it mandatory to appear for this examination? And also at the end of the video, I am going to share a bonus tip. And you know that my bonus tips are the crux of the video, wherein I share very important details. And in this video, I'm going to share how you should prepare for Cambridge Secondary Checkpoint Examination. So let's get started with the video. But before we move ahead with the video, I would request you to hit that subscribe button, like the video and save this video or take notes, whichever suits you because it is going to be a very, very resourceful video for the students who are now going to appear for Cambridge Secondary Checkpoint exam and if you are a parent, you are going to help your child a lot with this video. So let's get started with our first very important topic of discussion that what is this exam? Is it mandatory or not? So let me start from the basic. So in Cambridge, basically the Cambridge has designed pathways, pathways as the journey of a child from lower KG until IGCSE, then higher grades that is your A-levels then A2, A1, A2. So in this Cambridge secondary checkpoint examination come as one of the milestone after your grade 8. So in India, if we talk about, we can consider grade 6, grade 7, grade 8. These three years are tested by Cambridge Assessment Board. And this particular exam is not assessed by your school teachers. They are assessed by external examiners, the examiners from Cambridge Assessment Board. Now, moving on to the very important part is what is the future scope of this exam and if it is mandatory or not. Now, when I talk about the future scope of the exam, please understand, whenever you apply for any university, your university never looks at your current scores only. They also look at the journey of a child from childhood, from lower kg to secondary to higher secondary and how the child has been throughout whether he is a bright child or she is a bright child or whether he or she is an average academic child. So for these analysis, any university definitely look for good evidences. And what can be a better evidence than your Cambridge Secondary Checkpoint exam? This particular exam is assessed by Cambridge Assessment itself. So you, the report card that you will get will be through the board. It will not be from your school level. So definitely this document is a very, very important document in your university profile building. All right, let's talk about the subjects in this exam. So when we talk about subject, a, ch a child can appear for English, Mathematics, Sciences and Global Perspective. Do let me know in the comment section below if you would want me to make a detailed video on how to prepare for each subject in Cambridge Secondary Checkpoint exam. I have that video in pipeline, but I'll release it soon if you are looking for it now. So let me know in the comment section below if you would want to actually want me to make a dedicated video on each subject for this particular exam. So now we are going to a very, very, very important part of the video. That is your bonus tip. Now we talk about how to prepare for your Cambridge Secondary Checkpoint examination. One of the major problems that students and parents face is that there are no past papers available in the market. Even if they get the past papers, there are no answer keys available. And to solve this particular problem, I have compiled everything and uploaded that on my website. You can check the link of my website in the description box and pinned comment, wherein you will get the question paper and very soon I'm launching the answer keys as well. My team and I, we are curating the answers for each and every paper. The second problem that the parents face is they are not aware of what is the syllabus. Now, very important thing here is Cambridge never ever gives a textbook. 
they have only reference books and so is for Cambridge Secondary Checkpoint Examination. You will not get any textbook. You will only get reference book of Collins, of Oxford, all these publications. So what I have done is I have gone through each and every reference book easily available in most of the countries, analyzed them and linked the reference books which I will definitely suggest in the description box and in the comment section below. So do not forget to check that out. Now then by analyzing these textbooks, I have taken care of the syllabus covered one. What is the topic covered two? Is the topic covered in depth? And the third point is whether they have exam style questions in the textbook itself. So these are few considerations made by me while analyzing and evaluating the content of the textbook to recommend you guys. So do not forget to check the link in the description to know which textbook I'm talking about. Now the third very important thing is the syllabus as I talked about it is not readily available. So there is something called a scheme of work. The scheme of work is basically a document which is similar to syllabus and it is generally available only to the teachers, you know, Cambridge educators. However, being an educator myself, I have shared the scheme of work as well in the description box below. So you get all the materials required right from this video only for your Cambridge Secondary Checkpoint examination preparation. I hope this video was very helpful for you and if you would want to watch more such video, do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. See you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.